Hey guys, it's me, Nemesis is Blood right here, talking about something serious for once. And, um, you've seen the title, it's talking about the future of the channel. Um, and I have talked about this with everyone else, so, um, this is not me addressing things without anyone's knowledge. Um, although I think I forgot to ask Dane, but Dane hasn't, uh, Dane, Dane isn't always available, so. Um... So th this is about the new YouTube tomfoolery that's been going on. It's been fucking people around and ruining a lot of nice things. The whole copper shtick that's going to start in 2020. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this about the whole commercially viable shtick? No, that doesn't really concern me. Um, the chances of them deeming me not commercially viable when I am an... A channel that has never really monetized once, and I don't really cost them any money, so it'd be weird for them to consider me that. Um, of course, there is the possibility they could nuke my channel because they don't think I'm commercially viable, but um, they'd be morons to do that. Try not to use the R word. Been told outside of Australia the R word's really bad. So the real thing is this this copper nonsense that's been going on with um. So, if, if you don't know, somehow, which maybe you're not up to date, or maybe you're not even paying attention, or maybe you just don't care, but, um, now people have to tick a box whether their videos are kid-targeted or not, and if you've watched any of my content, do I even need to explain? Hey, by the way, fucking bird, she was fucking bedridden and depressed, how the fuck? Is she going to train like that? And if she did, she had one fucking arm. What are you doing, you fucking moron? Are you shitting me? Weiss just fucking stands there. She ignores the fact that she didn't do anything to hold Vinal down or stop her from attacking, and she tries to summon. And if you don't think she's summoning, what is she doing? She just stopped the pose then? That's worse. I thought the wall was stupid, but it was better than literally nothing. Your back is facing her, you fucking moron! I have the mouth of an Australian, and that's because I'm an Australian. Very not kid-targeted, at least as the rest of the world would deem it. I mean, down here in Australia... <sighs> what isn't kid-targeted? I watched Hellraiser 2 before I hit the double digits, come on. But no. Um, the, the, the issue is the fact that... What... Like, if, if you mark a video wrong, or is what... These chuckle fox deem is wrong. You're gonna get ass rape for it. You're gonna be hit with a forty-two thousand dollar fine, and that's in USD. In AUD, that's equivalent to sixty-one thousand eight hundred and five bucks. That is a lot of money, um, because obviously the AUD isn't worth as much as the USD. So like, I, I, I've never had an income, never had really had a budget for the channel. This has always been like a passion project. I've been running off my parents' um money. Uh, it's for things like Vegas Pro, and the mic that I'm using, and the pop filter that I've always forget to put on for these sort of videos. You know, it's not important, and I say that right as there is a pop in the recording. You know what? Fuck it. Um, but, um, just, but, like, we're not, we don't really have financial issues, um, in, like, a severe sense, but it is a forty two a $61,000 fine is a shit ton of money, and... That's per video, if you mark it wrong, and some stupid-ass bot says, No, this is kid-targeted. And the problem here is the factors they use, for a normal person, these factors would be annoying. Because, essentially, like, there's one that particularly bothers me, and that, that's involving animated characters. And um, whether that means characters who are, originate from children's animation or the animation of characters, both of which affect me. Um, the music one is also so vague as a factor that um, I could hit either of those factors in a majority of my videos, and I'm marking them all not kid-targeted because God knows they're not. <laughs> they're really not. Let's run a clip from Not Wiz and Not Boomstick vs. Team Ruby. No! Daddy Gay Flip Punch! Now then go fist to the gooch! <laughs> In case you didn't know who I was, oh golly! My my corpse! Um, and that is a video that a bot might look at and say, Animation, pretty colors, Ruby from that 
Rooster Teeth show that's like very child friendly um, because the writing to anyone who is older than a child would piss off. That's not important. Um, they would look at that and they they might think kid targeted. They look at the music and think it's upbeat. It's very poppy, very rocky, not very um, depressing, not arch enemy, not Marduk, not fucking cannibal corpse, cow decapitation. It's none of that. It's 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 not that kind of music. It's it's very kid friendly music. Um, as far as I can remember, I don't remember the music I used in that video, but there were videos like that. Um, and a bot wouldn't look in it and notice this adult just uppercut an, a 17-year-old in the groin and launched her head off her body through Jupiter, splitting it in half. <laughs> YouTube's not going to look at that. Or the bot's not going to notice that and think, oh, on second thought, this shit ain't for kids. It could easily just say, oh no, that's kid targeted. And... Let's say, theoretically, I get in a position where they, they do that, and they go to find me, and through some miraculous stuff, I manage to avoid the fine. It's still going to be labeled as Kid Targeted Video. Um, the change is permanent, according to YouTube. So, and, and it's, it's a bot. That's what bothers me. So, like, the FTC can just overrule if something is deemed not Kid Targeted. And be like, no, it is. Our bots say it is. That's stupid. That's so stupid. Like, remember... Uh, let's compare their reliability to another famous bot, the YouTube copyright um, thingy bot, whatever you call it. That glorious cunt of a thing, to use a word that all you Americanos might be bothered with me using, it's Australia, cunt, cunt, cunt. I'm gonna fucking say it. YouTube and what they're doing is very cunty, and if I could have monetization, this video ain't gonna be hit with it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be monetized. If I could monetize, um, it's like that, that. That's the head of YouTube. What's her name? Susan. That person and all the people she's working with, and all these other big head honchos making all these great, amazing, ten out of ten. Real big brain decisions, really making screw attacks, death battles seem like, seem like the battle royale of research here. These, 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 it, it, why? Like, this is your own fucking fault, YouTube. You've dug yourself a hole, and now I've got to talk to all you guys about how I'm going to deal with it. Right now, I plan to ride out the rest of the year. Um, who and, uh, who, uh, who ends? the main person I talked to about this thing, because, like, Kitty's got her own channel, and James is very dead set on his own ideas, and Tyrant didn't know about this till very recently, um, and Dane's got his own channel as well, so mostly it's Huan and I, um, that have been managing the channel, and we, we've agreed we're gonna write it out till, um, December 10th, probably, when everything is set in stone and everything's done. If nothing's fixed, we're, we're gonna have to migrate, we're gonna have to jump off YouTube as a platform, because... It's not great. Um, where will we go? Not sure. There's Daily Motion. There's there's Bit Shoot. Whatever it's. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've I've only ever looked at the name. I never thought how to pronounce it till just now. <laughs> um, that was really really good on my part. I really I really prepared for this video. And um, you know, there's D Tube as well. Maybe. Um, so for now, guys, um, I'm going to continue making videos. I'm going to continue making these. Ruby videos that I swear a lot in, but are probably going to be my kid targeted because some spectacular fucking moron is going to see Ruby, it's a bot, some spectacular moron bot is going to think Ruby, think, it's an algorithm, it can't think, it's literally dumber than a fetus, and just, it's just going to be like, oh, it's kid targeted. Because, like, I know that a, a, a very big portion, I'd say maybe at least half of my 2,000 subscribers are here for my Ruby content. And that is also in heavy danger of being hit because of that whole animated characters thing. Children's topic. Ruby and criticism. Oh, yeah, kids love their criticism. So, yeah, th this video has been very incoherent. A lot of just me rambling. But the skinny of it is, I'm in danger when this absolute fucking stupidity goes through and if nothing changes after I ride out everything I'm gonna have to jump ship 
with Huey and James, Tyrant, Dane, Kitty, and everyone. And I'm going to have to start all over again. So, if there comes a day where any of you come to my channel, because I, I doubt any of you go to my channel to check new updates. Um, maybe in a year's time when you remember I exist and you go to check my channel, see if I've done anything, and you find it's gone, just look up Nemesis Bloodreich on Google. I mean, come on. How many people are going to have such a unique name? Uh, I guess this also means that the Q&A, which is still open, is probably going to get done sooner than I intended. Um, probably early December is when I'll have that up and ready for everyone to watch. Let me just check. So, like, looking at my schedule right now, before December 10th, there's one more recording day. Well, there's two more. There's this week's recording day, and then in a fortnight, another recording day. And then the next one will be after all this goes through. And that is scary to me. I'm only going to have two more meetings with all the guys to record videos. Um, and one of them, the next one is just going to be with Huan. Huan's the only person coming over. Um, that's, that's, that frightens me. So, please check out the Q&A to ask me any questions you might have before I potentially have to fuck off the platform. Um, and I guess I'll also say this, so, um, I have been trying to organize to get with other Versus debaters, um, Great Demon, someone from Crossover X, they're not responding to me, they're probably dealing with this in their own way, um, may, uh, Butter Samurai, maybe, Th uh, Combo Breaker, those people to organize, um, for all of us to jump ship together, because, um, it's going to be hard, because a lot of us do have subscriber ranges above um, the 1k mark, and not many of them are going to probably go with us in the initial run, so I want to be able to support my fellow Versus creators, get support from them, and co-mingle for a bit on a new platform to try and help everyone get their bearings again once this goes down. I, I really hope I don't have to. I've put five years, half a decade, this platform, and it's, it's fucking me now. It's fucking me. It's fucking my ass. YouTube penis in butt. That's what it's doing. And that is infuriating. I hope I don't have to go, guys, but if I do, you'll know why. You'll know why. I had big plans, too. This year was supposed to be the year that I focus on my channel and spend all my days working on videos and look how it's gone. Just look how it's gone. It's fucking great. Fucking spectacular. You fucking moron!